Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your career and finance reading. Okay. And for those of you who retire, I didn't say in the Aquarius reading, but just replace that for, you know, if you're doing something else, something on the side or something like that, you might be doing that. So, all right. So let's see what we have going on. Usually I do the general reading first for the month. This is October uh, career and finance because I think people are having uh, more inquiries about their money, their financial situation. So let's see what's going on with you. What is the situation? So we have a coffin. So this looks like someone might have had a bad investment. Um, there might be some kind of financial challenges or savings. But then we have here for the career, it's um, office work or night shift or maybe even a job ending for someone. Now, yeah, because we have the coffin. So it's endings. For, well, every ending has a new beginning, right? So something might be ending with something new to beginning. Or someone might be taking a little side hustle. It seems like a lot of people are doing that. So let's see what we have going on. Even here, just getting yourself prepared just in case something happens. Almost feels like, you know, uh, to prevent a medicine here. You know, do something. So just in case, you don't know if the company goes under if you have that or something happens that you have a little something else to do especially if you could do something out of the home let's see oh, yeah so actually you seems like you're moving away from something that was just you know it wasn't doing it for you so it was bad investment it was something you're moving away from whatever this is even bad um, challenges or situations that just were not good for you you're moving on you're releasing them and you're moving on. Something better. Okay. So that's a good thing. But do consider a little something on the side that you might want to start up. Oh, see, there's also a false person that you might be leaving behind. Okay. So maybe this is someone you dealt with, someone you worked with. A boss, a job. So we have false person or situation. Um, frenemies, lies, betrayal, bad intentions, deceit, hidden enemy, or manipulation. So you're moving away from that. So that's good. You know, something's come to light, something that you realize you have to do. Okay. So now, let's see what is um, crossing you. So this could be a challenge. Um, it could be in communication. It could be you know, some kind of current challenge you might be dealing with that's affecting your situation. Okay, so we have gears. Ooh, the gears are moving, huh? Are you thinking about something? Here, you might, I think some, someone has something in mind here. So it's money flow, um, hard work, putting plans in motion. And for career, we have building team, taking time off, and security. There's something someone's already planning or implementing here so some of you and you're all be at different stages but you're wherever you're supposed to be so keep that in mind so something is a cooking something cooking good looking <laughs> let's see what we have ah conversations communication there's some kind of movement here. Something's happening. And also, it could be something starting to take off, too, if you already implemented something new. Okay. Ooh, mature woman. So, a mature woman could be involved. Either this is you or someone you're dealing with. So, let's see what we have here. So, this could be um, a wise, older influential woman or a mother figure um, a good advisor a boss a mentor a teacher an ex it also could you know be referring to the other woman okay so what am I I'm going here where am I going yeah here <laughs> Jesus. I just did it I'm ready to forget where I'm at I tell you the energy the shift the uh, it's going quicker and I'm really feeling like I'm so fuzzy sometimes. Okay, so yeah, the gears are turning. Communication. Um, this really does feel like someone is 
talking to someone and whether they're advising you or not, it could be something that they say sort of like puts you in a, a another path or another thought. And I don't know if they even realize it, but there might be, they might need to, you know, sometimes this is the energy I'm getting from this. You could pick up communications coming from spirit in all different ways. So you could be like, say you're in the grocery store and you overhear someone say something because they're walking past you, maybe talking to their friend or something like that. And they say something. It's like, it, it was meant for you to hear. And it triggers something. And you know, the oddest thing is, I remember that happening once to me when I was walking past someone and they said something. And then the person said, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Because you said it to me, but you didn't know it. <laughs> Stuff like that happens. Okay. <laughs> All right. So just pay attention. Music, the radio, the TV, um, people passing by. If someone says something, it might it might just say, well, that's weird. It, it made me think about something. It was meant to. Spirit is talking to you in all different ways. I don't know why, but they're telling me to say this story. I, ha I used to have classes at my house for this, you know, spirituality and stuff, and the psychic abilities and stuff like that. And um, we also, a lot of people were healers. And um, we were doing like a, a healing session. That, that, the energy was really intense. And I had a dog that was a shepherd mix. And it's weird because... I don't know. Was I raking in him? I think I might have been raking in him. As we're sitting there talking, like, wrapping up the group, right? And, uh, yeah, I think I was the one. Yeah, I was the one raking him. So I'm over there raking the dog just for the heck of it. I don't know. And for some reason, there was a person I had that was an instructor, a very, very good psychic. And um, he was, somehow he got in a little bit of a heated debate with one of the other people there. And it's weird because... As they were talking, my dog's mouth started moving, but nothing come out. It was moving like it was talking. And I was like, everybody's like, look at that. And it felt like everybody's like, wow. Everybody felt sort of spaced out by this. But yeah, but the dog's mouth was going blah, 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 blah. As it was like mimicking them having their little heated discussion. And it was so weird. It, I, I don't know why I brought that up. But that must mean something for someone. I, there's like weird, it's like some kind of communication something was meant by that. I'm not sure right at that time I think we figured it out but I don't know I think it was just that the dog was getting high on the wreck <laughs> oh I don't know <laughs> anyway moving on see so it's like stuff like that it's not gonna make sense to most people you're saying what the heck is she talking about but to someone it's it's a message is maybe you've seen something like that happen or something's gonna be triggered by that I don't know what but because otherwise I don't know why I said it myself but when spirit tells me to say something I say it and it ends up being a message for someone all right so let's see what the basis of the situation is for you guys So we have a mass, secret stash, save pennies, finding money, and then we have a theft here. And then for career, we have acting assistance. Acting assistance? Okay. And then we have hidden potential, unknown. Hmm. So I would say things are not as they seem. I'm feeling really spaced too since I said that thing about my dog. I'm feeling like really spacey from it. So there's something about the energy. Sacred stash. Okay. All right. Yeah. Ooh, we have the lovers. Okay. There's a choice. Secret staff. I don't know. This is so weird, right? Secret stash money. Okay, we'll see what we get on this. It'll make sense to someone. Ooh. Wow, where did how did this this card was in with these, but so I didn't expect it, but this is good because look at this. And then secret stash. See there's a there's um, energy right now, whoever I'm connecting to, I have a very strong spirit energy here that is like, look at this secret stash. This was, this of all cards, 
was slipped into this deck is this deck right it was slipped this is the deck i was trying to pull on this is the same deck as this one here right this was so someone is going to find money or opportunity maybe it doesn't mean so much that you're finding in a stash but you might be finding a golden opportunity it might be an offer coming in that might be done in secret okay look at this we have the fortune teller wow okay guys this is really intense so we have here psychic gifts unexpected news intuition external forces future the unknown fate seeking answers yeah you're going to find answers in places that you don't expect your intuition is on fire and it might be that you can make money through your abilities or you're going to know if you listen to yourself you listen to your intuition you're going to find hidden money or opportunities that bring you money holy moly okay so I keep on getting these cards that come over here. All right. <laughs> They're moving on me. Which one is this? Oh, the King of Wands. Might be something about King of Wands, too, involved. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or the leadership qualities. Almost feel like for someone here, you have hidden abilities that people don't know about. Hmm. Okay. So now we're going to look at. We're going to look at the past and how it is related or reflecting or revel something that makes sense to the situation. It's so somehow connected. Okay, let's see. Past. Let's look at the past. I am really, I have some, a really strong um, spirit guide here right now. Very strong, very potent for someone here. Okay, we have here spiral. Okay, so something might have been out of control. And there's like something about climbing the ladder, upward trend. But then for career, we have uh, revisiting a job, a promotion, or connections. So yeah, so that's how this is connected to now from the past because someone might be coming back in. You might be getting an offer from the past, maybe someplace you worked before. Or it doesn't have to be the place. Maybe it's a situation, something you did before. Now, we got to keep in mind, too, that a lot of times the past might mean a past life. So there might be a skill that you used in one of your other lifetimes that you're going to implement in this lifetime. Somehow it's connected. I don't know if you guys ever had the past life regressions, but I highly recommend them because it helps you understand so much. And um, I think I said this on many times before, but I highly recommend the book or you could even sometimes, you know, people do read the book on, on YouTube, The uh, Many Lives, Many Masters. Excellent. Let's see. Uh, Dr. Brian Weiss. Let's see here. The hangman. Hmm. You're 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 sort of like looking at something in a different way. You're like it's almost like, okay, turn yourself upside down. How would that look? You know, it's like how how would it look from a different perspective? Okay. Oh, look at this again. I don't know what this deck it keeps on jumping. <laughs> what is this? Oh. Someone's worried about something. Someone from the past is worried about something. Okay, now we have here the house. Ooh. So this could be family, could be real estate with the house. Uh, relationships. Let's see, we have here real estate, security, stability, roots, family, home, possessions, safety, neighborhood, strong, steady. So you might be seeing something. May, oh, shoot. Maybe you're moving back to where you used to live. Going back in, into um, an old house that you used to be in, maybe? Is it a family home that maybe you're moving back home? It's not going to be for everyone, but there's something, some kind of connection to real estate, the house. It might be coming back up, something coming around. You could also be inheriting a piece of property from your past. Past memories, right? Okay, so now we're going to look at the present. 
is everybody in the right deck here? <laughs> I, t I didn't have that happening in the other reading, but it's happening here for Capricorn. Okay, so let's see what's happening in the present. Okay, so we have a candle. Something about the flame, the light. Look in the candle is what they're showing me because that's a great form of meditation. If you have a hard time meditating, just stare into a candle. You'll see visions. You'll see you'll see the candle change. You'll see little, you know, something happen. Like you see, you can see the. If you start staring at the candle, you'll see the candle start dancing too. You know, it gets really strange, and you can control that too. Okay, so now we have ambition. Um, take an action. There might be some kind of hustle here or um, to manifest money. You might be hustling to manifest money. Hmm. Okay, but for career, we have management. Um, this might also be a high rank. Visibility. Also could be something as far as being athletic. You know, a, a athletic feel for some. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Trust your intuition. Look how strong that moon is. This might have something to do with the new um was it, is it is it October 2nd is the eclipse the lunar eclipse. I think it might be. Okay, um so we have a decision that needs to be made here. Someone is actually it's almost feel like you might be making a decision but you're not going to Use your emotions here. I feel like you, here we have like a crossing over the heart here, the heart chakra. So use your intuition for something that you're deciding on here. A decision needs to be made on something. Okay. And that's happening in the present. So you might be already feeling it or about to feel it. Let's see. And it could have something to do with the eclipse coming up. We're in between eclipses, so. Oh, occupation. Okay. So, for the occupation we have here. Work, um, business, labor, hobbies, project, self-employment, a lot of effort, all mental and physical activities. So, and we did have athletic came up too. Unless you're trying to decide... If you want to take on something here that's either more athletic or more mental, that could be too. Okay. More physical, more mental. All right. So let's see what's coming in the future. What do we have for the future for you guys? Oh, we have a cup. Overflowing prosperity, full or empty account. Hmm. Well, I think this is by saying that because the way they they phrase this, it's overflow and prosperity. So, is your cup half empty or half full? That makes a big difference how you look at things. Okay, so we have um for the career, we have a nurturer here, or taking care of business fulfilled so for some this could be like in a medical profession or someone that is a caretaker too um because we have taken care of uh, business but we have nurturer okay do you feel fulfilled in something too there's something coming in that could bring you in a lot of prosperity and you know prosperity comes in many different forms it could come in as material gain but it also could come in as a fulfillment of what you like to do really enjoying your work that is a blessing Okay, now. But so far this reading looks like you you have the capability of um, bringing in the money. Let's see. Yeah, because now we have here the five of pentacles. How are you looking at things? Is how it's going to come in. You know, if you... <laughs> whatever you think about, you bring about... So might feel a lack here or being left out in the cold. Or you could be moving on and someone feels like, oh, you're because you 
we started out with someone might be moving on from a situation to something better. So by doing that, someone in the future might feel, oh, you left me behind. Well, you probably had to do what you had to do here. Because on this one, this is, okay, someone has murky thoughts about this. Unsure, you know, it's like worry. It's um, doubt. Pessimism, lost hope, insecurity, confusion, lack of focus, depression, and uncertainty and concern. Yeah, again, it's, it's very interesting. This reading is talking about, you know, you can have money here. How do you see this cup? Half empty or half full is what you're going to get here. Okay, so be mindful of the way you look at things. Okay, now, we're going to look at the power that you have in the situation. What is your power in this? Your perspective and your power. Because your per your perspective is your power. So let's see what we have here. Gold. Wow. So, huh. Huh. So this is solid finances. This is investing, integrity, deep values. And for career, we have here is banking, long-term position, satisfying work. Yeah, so some of you might work at a bank or this is saying this is an investment. Again, it's how you see things is how they're going to come out too. We do create our own reality. Ooh, temperance, bringing things into balance, Sagittarius energy. Being patient with yourself, too. Don't be in a hurry. It's all going to happen in divine timing, no matter when you want it to happen. It's going to happen when it's supposed to happen. You just believe and trust. Ooh, we ha you might be going on a journey, on a trip. You might travel, relocate here. Let's see. So we have here... Um, so, leaving, and this could be something old and familiar uh, situations. It could be letting go of something here from the past. You know, you're getting away. It's a life journey. It's travel. It's vacation. You might be going on vacation, or maybe you're thinking this is a good time to take a vacation. Okay, so now we want to look at the effects of people around you. How are they affecting your situation? Who are you dealing with? Let's see. Okay, watch. It's time to profit. And this um, divine timing sees the moment. Now, for career, we have here um, waiting, period, temp work, or laid off. So, it's weird because like money, we have it, you know, it's time to profit. But in a career, you might have to wait for something. Or you might have to take some work. Because this is the way, this is the effects of other people. So the effects of other people would be, who are you working for? Are they about to lay off people? That's what I'm saying. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have a little side thing going. Just in case. If you feel that's a possibility in your industry. That someone might be um, laid off. But it's like... This is time that you can profit. So if you want to invest in something else, you know, see what's going on around you. See what other people are doing. See how they're getting affected by things. Okay. I'm thinking more than anything, I'm getting pay attention. Pay attention to what's happening around you, not in your own little world. What's happening around you? Look at this. We have the devil, which is Capricorn energy. And fear is... Fear will produce more fear. So the energy I'm feeling now, a lot, um, there are people that want to put us in fear. And this way they have more control over us. So don't let them do that. You can, whatever you want, you can achieve. You got to stay positive. And there's a lot of crap going on outside that is not the truth. 
is propaganda. It's it's a lot of lies to keep control. Okay, let's see. So that could also be the effects of people around, you know, what you're hearing, what you're listening to. So we have here success in love. Hmm. So there might be someone around you that has a lot of feelings for you. They might be wanting to help you here. So we have romantic love, fallen in love, new love, successful or... Wait, successful or outcome, okay, successful, successful or outcome in love. That's weird the way they phrase that. And mutual love, intimacy, loyalty. So there's someone around you that is probably interested in you. Um, could be another Capricorn. I don't know. I, somehow, I, with it, the devil being underneath there, this could be obsessed with you too. Jealousy, obsession, possessions, possessiveness. Um, there also could be some kind of addiction here. But I would say, you know, keep your cup half full. If other people have half empty cups, let them keep their half empty cups. You keep your cup half full. Okay, so... um. Let's look at your hopes or fears. Oh, we got the nugget. Okay, so this is a small increase, valuable info, honest assessment. Now for career, we have here fresh start, steady work, Career building. So whatever, you know, it's your hope here. You know, take that part of the card. Let's see. Whatever it seems to make sense to you. Ooh. Commitment. So it feels like you might be building some kind of foundation and want to be committed to something here. Building a new business. It's very possible. But yeah, imprisonment. This is somewhat, see, again, we're going back and forth. I f There might be, if you feel like you're going one step forward, two steps back, that's because you're thinking positive for a second, and then you're thinking for minutes, you're thinking negative. You know, that's <laughs> that doesn't work. So you got to stay with your belief. So imprisonment, we have here. Trapped, isolated, um, restricted, stuck. It's unwanted. Obligation. Holding back. Self-imprisoned. Self-imposed limitations. And then we have forbidden. Yeah. So don't think you can't achieve something because you definitely could achieve whatever you want. That, that's the energy I'm mainly feeling from someone here. That every time they think positive, they right away go back to that negative mind state. And then that's what you're going to get. Okay, let's see here. What do we get for a possible outcome? The possibility to do really well is very high. It's all about your state of mind. Your beliefs. Okay, so we have gift. Ooh, nice. So it's um, giving and receiving, sudden windfall, generosity. For career, we have financial support and work surprise, vacation. So the outcome is very positive. Just stay in that positive mindset. Put these other cards down. Let's see. We have here, ooh, coins. So this is money coming in, wealth. Good investment, and then we have uh, for career we have sales and finance, and getting a raise. Lucky, it's a lucky period. See, looks good. Okay, one more. Ooh, chess. So it's money strategy. It's wise um, spending, long game. Okay, and then we have for career. It could be in the military. It could be a leader. It could be thinking it through. 
Okay. Now, what you don't see coming on the bottom here, we have the tower. Now, with this tower, this is talking about earning power, building a business, sound decision. Now, for career, we have corporate job, power, unstable position. So, you know, again, what we think about, we bring about. So, that's what you don't see coming yet. Okay, so let's see about this gift. Nice. Let's see about your gift. Your gift incoming. Ooh, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, focusing on your money, bringing in money here. So, um, just stay positive. You can grow your money if you stay in the positive mindset. Okay. So, we have our mending, putting the pieces together, figuring something out. This might be saying, okay, I'm putting together a financial plan. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, now the nugget. No, coins. We have a nugget. That's coins. I was looking at the picture. <laughs> the, and I'm looking at it. Look bumpy over here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh. Alrighty. So we have the star. Hopes and wishes and dreams coming true. Very positive reading as long as you stay in a positive mindset. Oh. And look, you're going to have options. You're going to have choices. You're going to be a little confused. So what? what's your next move? You know, there might be many things you might want to invest in or something. But we do have the sun, happiness, sunshine, clarity, passion. Okay. I knocked over my little Buddha. Put my Buddha on the table. See my cute little Buddha? Yeah. This is to bring you guys good luck. Okay, so let's see here. What else do we have? So we have here. Ooh, we have the wealthy man. Ooh. ooh. And this is. So it's entrepreneur. Um, it's financier. It's a charmer. It's career success. Ambitious. Young man or um, well-connected, auspicious results. Whoa, this is so positive. This means money could be coming in. Still, um, it's got something to do with how you think about things. Let me get the words on this Queen of Pentacles. Let me get on this Queen of Pentacles. Always closure, fear. So someone's always afraid that things are going to end. Things are going to stop. You got to stay positive. You know, don't think that, oh, this is too good to be true. Something's going to fall apart. No. It is if you're going to think it is. It's definitely. Let's see here. So we have here manifestation. Yes. See, you can make all your dreams come true. So manifestation, we have manifest your um, desires, creation. This is power, it's resourcefulness, creativity, um, action, focus, potential, talent. Yes. You can have it all if you want it. Just gotta stay positive. One more, and then we'll see what's on the bottom of this deck. So we have despair. See, why every time things go well, someone now feels like, okay, it's not gonna happen. What's, what's gonna go wrong, you know? And we have courtship. There's a, there's a relationship coming in for you, too. Okay, let me see here. We have for this, this spirit is adversity, excessive stress, sadness, suffering, sleepless nights, failure, tortured with worry and fear. See, the fear can destroy you. Don't buy into the crap, you know, because it's, it's all trying to put you in that fear so that someone has more control. Don't buy into it. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we have here courtship. So for the courtship, we have business or romantic meetings, social life, early stages of love, parties, meeting with friends, and events. So there's something coming together. You're going to be really happy. And this could put you in a very powerful position. Okay. So again, it's what you think about, you bring about. So let's see what signs you could be dealing with. Stay positive. 
you know, the universe is abundant. Okay, let's see. What signs can we deal with? Placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have here Aries. Capricorn, there you go. Aquarius. Aries. Gemini and Taurus. Okay, so placement in your chart, placement other people's chart, past, present, future. Aries, Capricorn, Aquarius, Aries, Gemini, and Taurus. Now we'll do the letters. 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's first and last initials and they have a middle name, you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have R, T, M, B, Y, F, D, C, B, W, and U. Okay, so letters we have today are R, T, M, B, Y, F, D, C, B, W, U. Okay, guys, remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't forget, I do offer personal readings now. Information below, shoot me an email. I'll send you back the information. I have a menu you can pick from and then decide what you want to do or hang on to the email for a later date if you decide you want information later or for me to try to help you out with something. But, um, and don't, don't forget to uh, check me out on Rumble. It's different content here. I'm not posting the same stuff on both uh, platforms. They're different. All right, guys. But well, thank you so much for your love and support. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments, um, your donations, your super thanks. And also, thank you for choosing me to do your personal readings. I'm so honored when you guys decide to pick me. That is that just, it tickles me pink. <laughs> all right. So thank you so much, guys. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.